Uh, this video looks at inventory turnover. It's the final of the ratios that you need to know. Uh, just to reiterate, it really is important that you know all of these ratios off by heart, what they mean, how to calculate them, and how you would use them in an exam. Um, so the final uh, ratio you need to know is one of the efficiency ratios, measuring how effectively a business is managing its assets. And um, inventory turnover, previously known as stock turnover, uh, literally measures the number of times an organisation um, sells out of stock and has to replenish its stock levels. Okay, so they sell everything, there's nothing left over, and how many times do they need to replenish those stock levels over the course of a year? How do we work it out? Well, we take the cost of sales, uh, which is uh, supposed to reflect the uh, cost of buying those stocks, um, we could criticise that, and, and I'll see if I'll try and remember to do that at the end of the video. Um, and uh, we divide that by the inventories. So cost of sales is the difference between revenue and gross profit on our income statement. Inventories is one of our current assets on the uh, balance sheet. And what we're doing is we're saying, well, this is how much we spent on uh, stock over the course of the year. We divide that by the amount of stock that we're holding at one point in time that from that balance sheet, that snapshot, and that will tell us on average how many times we have to uh, replace the stock that we're keeping. So let's just have a look at some figures. Let's say the cost of sales in the business is 20,000. They hold uh, 2,000 worth of inventories. So they've got 2,000 pounds worth of stock on site. If they've spent 20,000 over the course of the year on stock, well, we can see 20,000 divided by 2,000, they've, they've replaced that stock 10 times over the course of the year, which of course is, is about roughly once a month. Okay, so um, we would, it, it's expressed in, uh, not as a percentage, not as a ratio, but it's the number of times that the stock has been sold out per year. So how do we interpret this figure? Well, first of all, as with all of these ratios, you know, we don't know if 10 is very good. What business is this? How did they do last year? How are their main competitors doing? Um, what we want to know is we want to compare this over time and to competitors to get some idea of if, if this is a good number or not. But there are a few things that we should bear in mind. Number one is the... Um, is the industry and the nature of the product. So somewhere like a, um, a greengrocers or a supermarket, you know, selling fresh produce and vegetables, we would expect them to turn over their stock quite a few times over the course of the year. You know, um, you know, at least once a week. So, you know, 50 to 100 times uh, a year, we'd expect their stock turnover to be. You know, uh, someone selling electronics or computers, uh, maybe six times a year. Uh, car sales room maybe two or three times a year and um, you know a really expensive high-end jewelry place or antique shop maybe they're only turning over their stock once a year but they can get away with that because um, they're selling their you know each product for you know a very high margin um, so it's really important to bear in mind the nature of the product secondly another thing we want to bear in mind is um, that if the stock turnover, uh, the um, in, sorry, inventory turnover figure is increasing, uh, it tends to be better for cash flow. So if that business it um, turned over its stock ten times, let's say it turns over its stock uh, twelve to fourteen times next year, that means they'll have had more money coming in. They've sold more stuff, so they'll have had more money coming in from their customers. It's going to be better for their cash flow. Um, a declining or low figure compared to competitors may indicate that an organisation is holding too much stock. So, you know, when we're looking at um, uh, the uh, stock turnover going down, we need to ask the question, well, have we got too much held in reserve here? Uh, and what can we do about that? And of course, stock turnover is only really applicable to uh, shops, retailers or wholesalers. Um, you're not going to calculate stock turnover for... Um, an organisation like an accountant or a gym or um, you know somewhere that doesn't really sell a product that sells a service. Um, so that's worth bearing in mind as well. So how do we improve our inventory turnover? 
uh, well, we need to reduce the amount of stock that we hold without losing sales. So can we, you know, cut our inventories? Can we uh, reduce the amount of stock we're holding on site? Perhaps through introducing lean production methods just in time. Um, that should uh, mean that, uh, you know, we're dividing the cost of sales by a, uh, a lower average inventory and, and, and that, that number will um, inevitably go up. Can, or can we increase sales without changing stock levels? So, um, you know, without having to stock more goods, can we get more people through the doors buying our product? Um, and that will increase uh, the number of times, obviously, that we need to replace the stock throughout the year. And finally, obviously, doing a really in-depth analysis of which, pop, which products are you buying that people aren't, um, or which products are you stocking that people aren't buying particularly quickly. Well, let's get rid of them and focus on the products that are really popular with customers because that will inevitably mean you're not holding on to stock for so long, which should improve the inventory turnover. Okay, so just a quick um, note then on the uh, formula, which I said I'd try and come back to. It's not a perfect measure because the cost of sales, um, of course, increase, it includes costs that aren't necessarily, this is all the variable cost of production, not just buying new stock. So it might, the cost of sales might include overtime payments for staff and um, petrol costs for delivery. So it's not just um, stock that uh, is included in the cost of sales figures. And the inventory figure is taken from the uh, balance sheet. All right, and the balance sheet is like a snapshot of a business in time. Remember, the income statement covers a whole year. The balance sheet is what, how much is this business worth today? And if the, um, if the managers maybe say wanted to um, increase their stock, their inventory turnover level, they might ensure that on that particular day where the balance sheet is taken, they've got a particularly low level of stock. Because obviously, if you've got a lower level of stock, that will... Um, mean a higher stock turnover. So there are some problems with the formula which you could talk about if you had to evaluate it in an example.